Now we have a new chapter of Kaguya-sama. This is chapter 163. Uh, Fujiwara shaved her head. The bow is still attached. What does this mean? The chapter title is Fujiwara Chika wants the scare, so this isn't real. She's pranking. It's a, a fun prank to get everybody's mood up after winter break. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a bald cap. Of course. <laughs> it's you who are talking about, so I don't know. <laughs> Do something like that. It's her Kaguya's surprise birthday party. Oh, yeah, because she had her birthday over winter break. Um, it wasn't so much of a happy birthday, it seems. Didn't have any party or acknowledgement from her family. So now they'll have a surprise party for her. Hey, sure. Birthday surprise. Ah, oh, see, this is this is the formatting of this series that I've come to know and love. Where we have like kind of a cold open that introduces the thrust of the chapter, and then this little narrative break where we, we take a broad view of the tradition at hand or the, the element of social interaction or whatever. I like it, I like it. You know, it, it works really well, I think, to kind of set up your range of expectations for the chapters. So, let's learn about birthdays. Birthdays only come once a year. To make it memorable, people try to do things that will shock or surprise the recipient. And here, something truly horrifying is going on. Some really realistic looking zombie makeup and the scream mask and the Jason mask. They're terrifying this person and then saying, hey, surprise, happy birthday. I don't know if I like that. Never do that for my birthday. Anyone watching this who's going to give me a surprise birthday party. My birthday is April 12th. I don't mind a surprise party. Just don't make it, like, horrifying. Why make it horrifying? I don't like that. <laughs> Going too far will result in feelings of harassment. They might even question the sanity of the perpetrator. <coughs> I'd like to do something that looks like it took a lot of time and effort. Hmm... But there was last week. You should miss your chance. It's the thought that counts. I love that she's wearing the bald wig this whole time. It's so shiny. I don't do this for her. She won't celebrate my birthday either. <laughs> Skip my birthday. <laughs> she's the flowers. She knew me I would like to celebrate her birthday with people. No harm in doing so. Let's do it. It's a good prank. Hmm. I'm gonna drink really bitter tea or a whoopee cushion. Classics. Fart bag. Whole brand novelty fart bag. What's something that will actually shock someone? Don't you want to see their panicked face? Oh boy. Oh boy. So Fujiwara, in her insane combination of both innocence and ignorance, and diabolical demoticness, I think is going to propose a prank that involves a fake confession from the president. Something like that. You think? Something or like a confession from Ishigami or something? A confession from Fujiwara would be good? I don't know. Having an ASCII argument when things are about to get really bad reveal it was just a prank. Yeah, that seems too intense. I don't like that. I would also switch the channel. Ooh, what if we do the opposite of learned it instead? Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, this, this in retrospect, is the most obvious. Fujiwara and the Prez. Bald Fujiwara and the Prez going out. Hmm, pretending to cheat on her already is no laughing matter. I haven't told Fujiwara and the others. Telling anyone about us could leave the Shinomiya family finding out. See, look at all this family emphasis. I'm convinced that this is going to be the next big arc. And so, shouldn't I tell the student council members? Oh, yeah, this is going to be bad. Ah, uh, so she's trying it out. <laughs> I think she forgot that she's bald. <laughs> I think that she forgot that when Ishigami says, what is this? He means, why are you bald? Whoever did a big forehead girl like you? Are you saving your head or dating? You should have chosen one or the other. 
<laughs> Ruined crappy prank channel with a thousand subs can be put in. <laughs> Big forehead Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we figured out immediately that it's a prank for the party. I don't know, Piggy was pretty much zero. The foundation has to be at least believable. <laughs> okay. Punishment for insulting me. Repent for your sins. Why is dating me a punishment? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. I like any sort of gag where it's it's typically like a back and forth between two characters. One character being the straight man of like, hey, why is that a punishment? But that she's doing it to herself. That she's playing all roles. Oh, oh that's so great. Okay. <clears throat> Kaguya approaches. No, it's going to be the other girl. It's Miko-chan. Oh, but of course they have some tension going on. There was the heart thing during the festival. There was her being around all of the Tsubomi Senpai adventures. Is he dating? Turns out it's me. Oh, and she's like horrified on so many levels. This, this, let's try to process this. Obstinately, she hates Ishigami because Ishigami is pretty rude to her and they're always fighting. But then, secretly, maybe she likes Ishigami. Maybe she uh, actually has some affection for him. But, even if she does, a lot of the focal point of her affection right now is, is kind of seeing his crush on Tsubame Senpai, empathizing with that, so on and so forth. So that, when she finds out that he's dating Fujiwara, that specific aspect is what gets tossed in the blender first, and now she can't make heads or tails of how she feels about this. Meanwhile, she has all of this adoration and respect for Fujiwara Senpai. Who knows why? Uh, th that seems to just be a blind spot of hers. So Fujiwara now dating the, the hated Ishigami, the somewhat loved Ishigami, the feelings of resentment, jealousy, and confusion. Oh my god, all of this encapsulated in this one look, this one panel. Maybe she'll just instantly realize it's a prank. Is the only real conclusion you can make. <sighs> what you're doing right now is unacceptable. You truly cannot have disappointed me more. It's interesting that she does say she would support with Tsubame Senpai. Interesting. Don't need to take care of me from now on. Don't want to hear a thing that comes out of your heart. <laughs> the president has the sign. <laughs> she like hates this so much. <laughs> Ishigami hates him too. Everyone is mad. I was so surprised. Bikuri! Bikuri Masta! <laughs> Obviously, that is just common sense. Uh, I think I'll surprise Kaguya. Say I make a mistake. The president hits me as hard as he can. <laughs> What? This is horrifying. Do we have to hit someone to shock her? It would really hurt you. There's no way of doing that. I wouldn't really mind. Wow, yeah. This is quite the character quirk. Because on the one hand, she loves being, like, pampered. She listens to those tapes where it's just the guys, like, complimenting her. But then there's this... I don't know. Not that the broken arm was her fault. But she has this kind of masochistic streak. She I'm trying, but I guess. Oh, and is it going to be the classic Kaguya was listening to this whole thing? Oh, no, she's there. She just comes in. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Are they going to reveal it? Are they going to reveal everything? Oh, my God. Because the way that Fujiwara brought it up, she comes in, she sees the present Fujiwara talking. She figures like, oh, that, that Lummox, he must have let it slip somehow. Oh, well. Like, she's just so over the moon about the whole relationship. And then the way that Fujiwara brings it up here, so obnoxiously, it really, I think she's in the, of course I do. Oh, I'm this guy's girlfriend. He's the president I've been dating since winter break. 
Are they all gonna think it's just a prank? I think they're just gonna think it's a prank. That they're being counter-pranked. I don't know, I don't know, but this is so lovely! <laughs> what? Are we okay to tell them that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the tell the truth prank. It's the tell the truth and don't give a leap prank. You shot. Ah. Ah, get that. It's just a prank. Ah, but it's the truth. Hmm. For now, it's best to keep our relationship a secret. Even so. Hard to show off a bit. Oh. Ah, that's so good. Ah, Kagi is so great. She's so cool. You're such a prankster. Today's result, Kagi's victory. So there's still victories and losses and stuff. Even though the confession is long over. <clears throat> nice. Nice. A great chapter. A great, great, great chapter. It had very funny moments. It had some kind of discussion. What is a prank? How do you prank someone well? That was interesting. Had some development on the situation with are they going to tell all the student council members? Are they not? Had lots of great gags from all of the characters. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? <sighs> all right. Let's uh, look forward to next week's. I love this series. I hope uh, you stick around with me as we see what uh, adventures await our beloved student council. All right. Bye-bye.